Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, where today we have got a sleeping giant to uh, carefully go by. We're not going to kill it from up here. That is a bad idea generally. Killing it from down below, however, is a good idea. Hey, fellas. Who needs to eliminate one at a time? These guys are highly flinchable. Ow. Just need to not let them hit you. There we go. So, we get a soul. Now, is there a door that needs opening down here? Or am I supposed to just jump out? I don't quite remember. There is a door that needs opening. Now let's go jump out. So, if we drop down here, then there's a bunch of corpses. Then we can go this way, grab that item, and have made it all the way around the giant. So there is still an item up there. I think we get to that later. Like, maybe once the giant's dead. Also, wow, those chains. The links really stretch around that shoulder when he's hunkered down like that. I imagine when his arm's in its neutral position, those links aren't super stretched. But as is, that's kind of silly. Okay, here we are. Hi, rat. Hi, other rat. Hi, rat number three. Alright, so let's go up here, because there's a ladder that I think leads to, like, one item. And we don't have to fight the giant in order to get it. Oh, it's a lizard, that's right. Well, the giant does need to die before we can really get the lizard. So, I wonder, can the giant attack us if we're here? No. Kind of need our chaos bed vestiges. That's right, the giant takes like no damage while it's asleep. Okay, yes, it still can attack us when we're here. Go on back to sleep, buddy. Hi, rats. Okay. Oh, still more. And then we can go up here, but then the basilisks will come from the hole in the ceiling. But you know what? That's fine as long as I don't let them kill me. I really do wonder if it's possible to get up there by any means. I'd really like to see if it's possible to find where the basilisks came from. But let's just go on over here. That's a mimic. This is not. And then the basilisks just jump on out. Nope. Uh-oh. Let's get up here where it's tougher for them to... But not impossible for them to spew their gas. Die, please. All of you. 
Okay, I need to not get spewed on for a little while. Die. Alright, and there's one more of you. Die, die. Nope. Nope, no, nope. And die. Okay, we're good. And now we can deal with the mimic while watching this guy's eyes bobble about. Can I? I don't appear able to get him unstuck. Let's also drink some of this. And then... Oh, you're this style. And now you're not. Now to get away from that basilisk that's partially embedded in the ground. Because really, that's just awkward. Okay. Ah, yes, giant rats. Yes, of course. So, these guys... I guess enemies that drop souls drop the old varieties. And souls that you find in the world are the new varieties. Ah, yes, time for stealth indeed. Let's not be in line of sight there. Okay. And then we can head this way. And this takes us here, yes. So, since we have the gesture, we could go straight to Archdragon Peak right now. But we're not going to. That seems like a bad idea. Seems like a very bad idea. And we'll grab that item on our way back down. And then we open this. And huzzah, we have a shortcut. And since everything around here should still be dead, let's use the cell key we got. Yeah. That seems like a good plan. Though, I think there is something on this side that we need to use it for, right? No, wrong. So it was the other side that had the cell at the bottom? Or no, that's where we just came from, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I am glad that everything is still dead, though. Would have been unfortunate if we had to fight through things again. Oh, really? This key doesn't go to this cell? Goes to some other cell? Oh, you know what? It probably goes to the cell with the, uh... The what's-her-name that teaches the dark pyromancies and... Dark miracles. That's probably it. Well then, I have wasted our time. Thankfully not much of it though. And yeah, this is the cell I was thinking of. As being the other cell. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe this key also opens one of the cells near the bonfire up there. That's a possibility. But not one I'm going to entertain just yet. Okay. Lots of jailers. They are killable, and I would like to do so. But let's maybe do it 
from a place where we won't have to go so far to get into melee with them. Sorry to wake you up, but you were kind of being alive in a place where I wanted you to not be. Don't vomit at me. That's disgusting. Same goes for you, buddy. Nope. No vomiting. You stop making your noises. Neat. Did I see another one? No, I didn't. Okay. So we can open this. And then you're by yourself. So... I hope we don't get many coming this way. That would be unpleasant. Really? You're not gonna try coming in here? Just gonna leave it be? Oh, I guess it was just my imagination. Ooh, we got another. Wow. These guys are oblivious. Terrible jailers, really. Let me target you. Yep, these guys are bad at their jobs. Ooh, is that a bunch of them all in one spot? Sure looks like it. Okay, we are in line of sight, but we're not in much danger as long as we can keep just doing this. Okay. Die. And I think that's all of them. Might have been the coward's way out, but it worked. Don't think we can use an ember while we're already embered, but if we could, that would be a nice full heal. Yeah, we can't. So, let's just take one drink. And then we'll look around. Grab this. Oh, there's another Jailer in there. Well, we'll let them stay in there for now. There's a Mimic. Let's go ahead and end it, I suppose. Nope, no grabbing. Nice try. You missed, though. Like, I didn't dodge or try to block that kick. You just straight missed. So is anything going to try and kill me in here? Bet that corpse will scream. Yep. That's a scream. If ever I heard one. And then we've got a red-eye crucified guy in there, and we've got a jailer here. I'd rather like to keep my max health, so you can just go ahead and shove it, jailer. Can we open this? No, we can't. We lack the requisite key. Can we open this? We can, though it's really not a good idea to do so. I honestly shouldn't have. I already knew what was waiting for us. And I'm pretty sure we've been almost brought our deaths by this very enemy before. Did 
Die, die, die. Okay. Anything in here with you? Looks like nothing. Well, let's get a better look. Ah, yes, it's definitely nothing. And we can't close that again. Should have just left it alone. So now we can go to the profane capital, but shouldn't we have gotten another key? feel like we should have, but maybe it's actually in the profaned capital. So... I haven't actually used this key yet in this run. I should probably do that. And... The oldest cell in all of Irithiel Dungeon. Which cell is that? Oh! Okay, this is the key that we need in order to free Siegvard. Okay. Bunch of neat stuff in here. Kinda wish I didn't have these, though. Thankfully, I'll never need them again. So, let's heal up. We know we're gonna fight a gargoyle in just a moment. Does it come from over there, or does it come from up and behind? I don't rightly recall. Or maybe it's that one. Yeah, I think it's that one. Well, let's go grab this item before it shows up. A venerable old hand, eh? Wonder how much that's worth. Hello? Yes, hello. Come on over, buddy. I just... I want to fight you just... over here where there's more room. Alright. Oh, it would have been possible to do a critical hit. Thankfully, didn't need it. Easy enough to deal with, as long as you just, you know, dodge their attacks and hit them. Which I guess is true of literally every enemy in the game. That's kind of how this game is played. Let's screw the ladder. We don't need it. Do it? Do what? This won't collapse, will it? No, it won't. Because it actually already has. We could go out here, but we won't. Because we've got a bonfire to reach, and I would actually really like to sit at it. We've got a lot of souls. And I mean, like, a lot of souls. And it had been pointed out to me, and now that I look, it's actually quite true. This guy looks just like the Laddersmith in Dark Souls 2. That's neat. Shame about the whole dying thing, though. So, let's take these souls back to Firelink, where they can do us some more good. Hello. Speak very well. Then talk take no. Okay. Blamo. Dang. It's going up by 2,000 souls every level now. Just for curiosity's sake. Uh, no. Farewell, I should make the flip. I believe I will heal the sigil by beating the game again and starting new game plus two. Ow, how many? Let's give you all these ashes we've got. Gracious. 
path left. The I only hope the eagle. <laughs> Gracious let. I yeah, that's not fine, path. Ash. That is disgusting, Ash. Gracious let. I only. <laughs> Gracious and awfully warm at that. Yeah, it was me. Almost as if it had lived mere moments. Ago. Actually, it was hours ago. Oh, forgive an old woman's idle prate. I'm sure an ashen one such as thee would never indulge such base contrivances. Yeah, never. So let's go ahead and buy these because they're there. And then beyond there... Wouldn't be the worst idea to have these, but then again, we've got a miracle that does the same thing, so... Let's not. And of course she's not going to have anything else that I need to buy, so I... Well, there's these. Never hurts to have more, even though I haven't used the last lot of them. Yeah, I'll actually just leave them there, because again, I've got a lot of them. Ashen one. Huh. Until we start running low, there's no reason to buy more. And then in order to get Arena's other ending, Please, little creep. we have to uh, buy all of her Dark Miracles. So let's buy this one, and this one, and this one. So there's still one more we need to get. But, I mean, hey. Won't be too long before we can afford that. Oh, sweet champion. Leaving so soon? Yep. Please, I am frightened. Sorry. Hmm. Ah, there's not really anything else for us to do here. So, back we go to the profaned capital bonfire. From whence we will return to the Irithil dungeon and cut away at that giant's feet. So, which way is it to get back? It's not this way. Which means it's the other way. What's this then? Hmm, no. And what's this way? A fall. No ladder. So we want to go down here. Nice and safe. Also, with the ladder smith being around, that explains why there are so many ladders around here. I guess he was just plying his trade. So, what's down this way? Down this way is a dead end. And I would rather not like to try that jump. Yeah, let's not. So if we go this way, a gargoyle will appear. And you know what? We can fight it. There we go. Easy enough. So what's over here? More broken ladders, a view of that. And nothing else of consequence. I feel like with the ladder-smith being here, and with this being a pretty prominent structure, it's supposed to remind us of something from 
probably Dark Souls 2, but it is not ringing any bells for me. Lizard, but hole. There's a hole. Lizard. Yeah, get yourself caught in a little corner. You are not going in that hole, little lizard. And then I believe we've got to go this way to get up and over there. Yeah. And there is stuff that way. But first, a coin. All right. And then we're here. Why is this lit? Like, is there any reason for those planks to be better lit? Might just be a quirk of the lighting system. Ooh, I don't have my tears right now. That's not pleasant. Of course, neither is this entire area. So let's drop here. Oh. That wasn't as dry land as it looked. Ow. Alright, there's one down. And there's two. So that one's probably alive, but we're not going to get close enough to find out. Because we're just going to go on up this ladder over here. Because we've got a friend to rescue, I do believe. Oh, and there's also going to be an NPC caster up here. Also, there's a hand beast. Eh, fine. Oh boy. These things have got some health. Oh no, I thought I dodged. Well, that didn't hurt as badly as expected. Your hand face looks an awful lot like Manus's hand. And yes, I know there's an item up there and we'll be getting it, but... Well, hello, Mimic. We'll be getting it, but later. Nope, you are not grabbing me, sir. Okay. Thanks for the staff, I guess. So... Yeah, what purpose does this little room serve? Because I was kind of hoping that I'd, like, find an item in here now that we're on a fresh run and I haven't been here yet, but no, there's nothing. As far as I can tell, that little room serves no purpose whatsoever. We can hear all the hand beasts down below making noises. So, let's go deal with the Roof Sorcerer. Nice try. Didn't mean to kick. Probably would have killed this guy by now if I hadn't. Oh wow, that did like nothing. Sir, you are very easily killed. Okay. 
Okay, poison arrows. Those are nice. Though we've already got plenty. And nothing over here. So let's drop down, get the item, then climb on back up. Okay, we didn't need that. But that's alright. Because we can sell it for a pittance of souls. So if we want to get to Siegvard, we jump there. But we need to actually make the jump instead of getting caught on the side of the window. Uh, that thing that I said before, how did we do it on our first try in the last run? And we failed twice here. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Nothing down there. Oh, hello, Siegvard. Haven't gotten to talk to him from the other side, but... Maybe he'll have different dialogue because we rescued him. Go away, used old Selkie. Yeah, because we rescued him before seeing him from the other side. Maybe his dialogue will be different. Oh, you are a saint. Nope. Once again, dialogue you are my different. valiant savior. Uh-huh. I, Siegvard of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this. A token of my thanks. Go on. It's all yours. Why, thank you, sir. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take. And a duty to fulfill. That is so. Hmm. Ah, no, I... And... All right. Glad I could help, Siegvard. Now, let's go cut that giant's feet. And also, I guess, kill a bunch of rats. It indeed could be enemy. Aristocrat's mask, eh? So we can drop out here, but first, item. And quite a useful one at that. So now we drop down, kill a bunch of rats before waking the giant, then wake the giant and kill him. Oh. Seems the giant has woken prematurely. Okay. Well, at least he can help kill the rats. camera would lock on to, like, the foot itself instead of the calf. Would make it easier to see things like rats. Okay, dead giant. Hi, rat. Let's take a drink. Okay. So, what's through here? Ah, yes, the elevator. And what an elevator it is. There's an item down there. Oh, but since we've been to Firelink, we'll have to actually fight our way through things again. Well. Let's not go just yet. We've still got other things to investigate here. Like 
the item that we can get from here. Ooh. And a nice item it was. So down there is death, but over here isn't. And mimic. So many mimics around here. Wonder what causes them to all uh, congregate like this. most interesting mimic as far as loot drops go okay what's up here I don't all right this takes us back up above to the top where the giant was sleeping which is good because there's a lizard for us below here but first, we've a jump to make. Excellent. Now, instead of fighting our way past everything again, we'll just drop down and then lizard. I think our running attack does less damage than our standing one. That's interesting. Ooh. Quite a nice soul. Okay, well, since we only have business in the asylum for opening some doors, I do believe I'm going to go ahead and use this and head back to the shrine bonfire, just so that I'll be a bit safer in between episodes. Okay, because that is it for this episode. Join us next time when we open some doors and then probably progress into the profaned capital. See you then, friends.